Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to find area of a quadrilateral whose vertices are these four points. And we are going to find area using double integration. So we are we all are familiar with the formula of area. Let me write it here. We have the formula of area is very simple. It is equal to double integration dx dy over region r. Getting double integration dx dy. There is no any function. Simply we have to find the limits and we have to solve that double integration and we will get the area. So, but see uh, here we have a quadrilateral with these four vertices. So, let us find that quadrilateral first. 1 comma 0 it is here. Second point 4 comma 1 it will be here right 4 comma 1. So, let us call it as A. This is B right. Next 3 3 where is it? It is here 3 3 C 3 3 and the last point D which is 2 2. 2 comma 2 so it will be here right d 2 comma 2 so let us join them so we'll get a quadrilateral this is a quadrilateral we have so it's not a standard shape like rectangle square like that so that's why we have to put more efforts to find its area okay actually we cannot find its area directly since it is very irregular in shape so what will i do I'm going to divide this quadrilateral in three parts by drawing two horizontal lines. So I'm going to draw one line here, okay, which is parallel to x axis and one more line I will draw here. Okay, so see, uh, yes, so yeah, in this way by drawing these two horizontal line, lines, I divided the region in three parts. Okay, so we will find the values of find the areas of three regions okay so let us call them as region r1 so this is my r1 this is r2 and this one is r3 so let me mention here here we divide region r in three parts say r1 r2 and r3 so then area is equal to the required area is equal to double integration over r1 plus double integration over r2 so that means dx dy obviously dx dy plus double integration over r3 dx dy or dy dx as per our uh, strip if strip is parallel to x axis then we write dx dy if strip is parallel to y axis then we write dy dx so we will find the areas of these three regions separately and at the end we will add so we will get a required area. So before that we need to find the equations of these uh, lines okay. So we have a line AD, we have line AB, we have line BC and we have line DC. So let us find the equations first and then we will solve the problem. So equation, equation of line AD. So when you have Two distinct points and we have to find the equation of line which join these two points we have a formula so that formula is y minus y1 upon y1 minus y2 is equal to x minus x1 upon x1 minus x2 let us solve it here okay so here you can uh, call it as x1 y1 and you can call it as x2 y2 it's our choice you can take anything so here i am taking x1 y1 is 1 and 0 and x2 y2 is uh, 2 2 so let us put it here so y minus what is my y1 0 upon y1 0 minus y2 what is my y2 2 is equal to x minus x1 my x1 is 1 1 minus that means x1 minus x2 my x2 is 2 so y minus 0 is y here minus 2 here x minus 1 and here minus 1 See minus minus will get cancelled and we will shift 2 on that side. So y is equal to 2x minus 2. So this is equation of this line. Let me write it here. So y is equal to 2x minus 2. So I got the equation of this line AD. Similarly, we have to find the equations of remaining three lines. This one, this one and this one. Let us find just make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. 
I'm going to use the same formula to find the equation of line AB. So this is my x1, y1 and this is my x2, y2 I'm going to select. So y minus y1 is 0 upon 0 minus y2 is 1 x minus my x1 is 1 and x1 that means 1 minus my x2 is 4. So this is y upon minus 1 x minus 1 upon minus 3. So minus minus will get cancelled and we will have 3 y is equal to x minus or you can say x is equal to 3 y plus 1. So in this way I got the equation of this line. Let me write here um, x is equal to there is no much space so that's why I'm writing in this way 3 y plus 1 that's it okay. So let us go for this bc now. Equation of line bc is the formula is same y minus y1 y1 minus y2 x minus x1 upon x1 minus x2 so y minus this x1 this y1 this x2 this y2 okay so let us take uh, y1 1 upon 1 minus y2 is 3 x minus my x1 is 4 4 minus my x2 is 3 so y minus 1 upon minus 2 x minus 4 upon 1 okay so if you multiply 1 into y minus 1 same minus 2 into minus 2x mm, minus 2x right plus 8 uh, i'm going to take minus 2x on this side so 2x plus y and by shifting one on that side you will have 9 so we have the equation of this line 2x uh, I'm mentioning here 2x plus y is equal to 9 okay yeah yeah so let us go for the last equation equation of line cd cd is let us find equation of line cd okay uh, y minus this is my y1 this is my y2 2 upon 2 minus 3 x minus this is my x1 this is my x2 2 upon 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 cancel y minus 3 is equal to y minus 2 is equal to x minus 2 so x is equal to y so equation of this line is x is equal to y getting so in this way i got the equations of all four lines so let us talk about the area now just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so as we have three regions, so let us focus on region R1 first, then we'll go for R2 and then we'll for R3. So for R1, so we have to find limits, right? Limits of X and Y. So I am going to consider a strip here, which is parallel to X axis. So my strip is parallel to X axis. So that's why I should write first X varies from and then Y varies from. So X varies from x is equal to 2x is equal to and y varies from y is equal to 2 y is equal to okay let us find the limits as you can see the strip is bounded below our found funda is very clear bounded below bounded above and we move a strip like this from bottom to top so strip is bounded below by x is equal to y the strip is bounded above by this line whose equation is 2x plus y is equal to 9. But actually I want x is equal to. Let us simplify 2x is equal to 9 minus y. So x is equal to 9 minus y by 2. So I got the limits of x. Now we have to move strip like this from bottom to top. Okay, So it will start at this line where the value of y is 2. See getting so that's why the equation of this line is y is equal to 2 equation of this line is y is equal to 1 getting so parallel to x axis passes through y is equal to 1. So y varies from 2 to the strip will move and it will go up to this point where the value of y is 3. So in this way I got the limits. So let us uh, find the area. So double integration over r1 dx dy double integration so strip is parallel to x axis so i should write dx first dy later limits of x are y2 
नाइन माइनस वाई बाई टू एंड लिमिट्स ऑफ वाई टू टू थ्री सो इंटीग्रेशन टू टू थ्री इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी एक्स इज एक्स वाई टू नाइन माइनस वाई बाई टू डी वाई सो लेट एस पुट अपर लिमिट एंड लोअर लिमिट लेट मी रिमूव दिस वन सो वील हैव सम मोर स्पेस राइट सी इंटीग्रेशन टू टू थ्री आई एम पुटिंग द अपर लिमिट नाइन आई एम डिवाइडिंग सेपरेटली नाइन बाई टू माइनस वाई बाई टू माइनस वाई डी वाई सो दिस इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन टू टू थ्री नाइन बाई टू इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई इफ यू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई वी विल हैव थ्री वाई बाई टू डी वाई सो लेट इज इंटीग्रेट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई इट्स इंटीग्रेशन इज नाइन वाई बाई टू इट्स इंटीग्रेशन विल बी थ्री वाई स्क्वेयर बाय फोर टू टू थ्री सो लेट एस पुट अपर लिमिट एंड लोअर लिमिट हाँ आई एम गोइंग टू पुट अपर लिमिट थ्री सो इफ आई पुट थ्री हियर ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय टू माइनस इफ आई पुट थ्री हियर ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय फोर लेट एस पुट टू सो टू टू कैंसल नाइन एंड माइनस माइनस प्लस फोर नाइन कैंसल थ्री सी हियर आई एम गोइंग टू सिंप्लीफाइड फॉर्दर सो दिस इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय टू माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय फोर सो इट इज ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय फोर देयर एडिशन विल बी माइनस सिक्स इट्स सिंपल कैलकुलेशन इफ यू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर बाय फोर विच इज थ्री बाय फोर सो द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रेशन इज थ्री बाय फोर सो डबल वैल्यू ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रेशन ओवर आर वन इज थ्री बाय फोर आई आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व फॉर आर टू नाउ मेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ इट देन आई विल गो फर्दर सो लेट एस डू द सेम थिंग फॉर आर टू सो दिस इज आर टू ओके दिस रीजन सो हियर आई ऑल्सो आई विल कंसिडर अ स्टे पैरल टू एक्स एक्सिस ओके फंड आई विल बी सेम बाउंडेड बिलो बाउंडेड अबाउ एंड बॉटम टू टॉप सी हियर द स्ट्रीप इज बाउंडेड बिलो सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न एक्स वैरिज फ्रॉम सिंस अवर स्ट्रीप इज पैरल टू एक्स एक्सिस द स्ट्रीप इज बाउंडेड बिलो बाई दिस इक्वेशन वाई इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स माइनस टू एक्चुअली आई वॉन्ट एक्स इज इक्वल टू सो लेट एस सिंप्लीफाइड बाई शिफ्टिंग टू ऑन दिस साइड लेट एस डिवाइड बाई टू सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू y plus टू by टू by dividing both sides by टू so this is value of x strip is bounded above by this equation टू एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू नाइन आई वॉन्ट एक्स इज इक्वल टू सो दैट्स वाई आई एम एक्सप्रेसिंग इन द सेम वे एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइन माइनस वाई बाई टू ओके आफ्टर दैट स्ट्रिप स्ट्रिप शूड मूव फ्रॉम बॉटम टू टॉप so it is bounded below that means at the bottom it starts at y is equal to 1 and at the top it stops at y is equal to 2 okay so in this way i got the limit so double integration over r2 dx dy obviously since the strip is parallel to x axis what are the limits of x here let us put y plus 2 by 2 to 9 minus y by 2 limits of y 1 to 2 One to two integration of dx is x, so I should write these limits. Okay, let us put the upper limit, lower limit. Let me remove this part. Okay, let us put upper limit, lower limit. Uh, let me do it here. So this is equal to integration one to two, nine minus y by two minus. I am putting the lower limit. Y plus two by two. Fortunately, we have both terms have same denominator too. So let us write common common denominator too. Nine minus y. If you solve the bracket, minus y minus two dy. Let us solve it here. One to two. Nine minus two. We will have seven. And uh, see here, what we have uh, minus two y. By two, so we can take that one by two common constant. It's a constant, so we can take it outside and we can integrate it. So this is seven y and its integration will be y square by two. So two two will get cancelled, and simply we have y square. So let us put upper limit, lower limit. I'm putting upper limit first. So it's fourteen minus four. I'm putting lower limit. So it is seven minus one. 
1 by 2. So 14 minus 14, 7 minus 1, 6. So it is equal to uh, 4 by 2, which is 2. So the value of this double integration over R2 is 2 only. So let us do it for R3 now. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. So let, let us do it for R3. Okay, so for this triangle, here also I will consider strip parallel to x axis. So fundi is simple, bounded below, bounded above, bottom to top. Strip is parallel to x axis, so I should write first x where it's from and then y where it's from. Strip is bounded below by this line whose equation is y is equal to 2x minus 2. But see, I suppose to write x is equal to, so let us simplify. I'm shifting 2 on this side. Let us divide both sides by 2. So y plus 2 by 2 is equal to x. So x is equal to y plus 2 by 2. Strip is bounded above by this line whose equation is x is equal to 3y plus 1. Strip will start at this point. Okay, it should move from bottom to top. So it should start at this point where the value of y is 0 since it is on x axis. It will go up to this line where the value of y is 1. Okay, so finally I got the limit. So double integration over R3 dx dy since strip is parallel to x axis. So di first, dx first, dy later. Limits of x y plus 2 by 2 to 3y plus 1. Limits of y 0 to 1. So integration of dx is x y plus 2 by 2 to 3y plus 1 dy. I am putting upper limit and lower limit first. So upper limit 3y plus 1 minus I am going to write the lower limit. What will I do? I will divide separately. So it will be easy to solve. So uh, what will you get here? y by 2 plus 1 actually but there is minus outside. So minus 1 dy. Okay. So let me remove this part. So we will have some more space to write as well as I am going to utilize this space also integration 0 to 1. So 3y minus y by 2 by cross multiplying we will have 5y by 2 and yes and 1 minus 1 will get cancel dy. 5 by 2 is constant so I am keeping it outside. Integration of y is y square by 2 0 to 1. So let us write it here. So 5 by 2 into if I put upper limit we will have 1 by 2. If I put 0, obviously will get 0. So answer is 5 by 4. So in this way, we solved the problem for these three different regions. So let us add them. So we'll get the actual area of that quadrilateral. Okay, make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. So area of given quadrilateral is sum of areas of these three triangles. And we have already solved separately. And we have got their values 3 by 4, 2 and 5 by 4. So at the end, we should add them. So we'll get a required area. See, they have same denominator. So we can easily add. So it is 8 by 4 plus 2. So it is 2 plus 2, 4 square unit. So this is required area of the given quadrilateral. So make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.